The Book of Joel. That's what inspired Paul Wilbur's latest album, and the result is nothing short of glorious. Take a look. For 40 years, recording artist Paul Wilbur has traveled the world, sharing the message of the Messiah and acting as an advocate for Israel. While reading the Bible, Joel 316 captured Paul's imagination. He wondered what it might sound like to hear God roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. From this, his next project was born. His latest 14-track album, Roar from Zion, was produced live from Jerusalem during Israel's 70th anniversary, declaring God's glory. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, our dear friend, Paul Wilbur. It's always such a treat to have you here. Thank you, Terry. It means we're going to get to hear you sing. <laughs> I hope so. Worship, I should say. This is uh, an <laughs> annual event. Yeah, tell me about Roar from Zion. This was done live uh, in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and 70th anniversary. It had to be a moment in time. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of anniversaries that collided here. The 500th of the Reformation, the wow. 50th of the reunification of the city of Jerusalem as the undivided eternal capital, um, the 20th anniversary of our release of uh, Days of Elijah and on and on and on, there was a whole bunch of them. Yeah. But uh, we gathered together on that platform. You saw just a, a few seconds of a mm -hmm. clip. Actually, CBN produced the opening video for us. Um, this, is a, th this is an amazing thing yeah. with, with Christian Arabs, Messianic Jews, uh, Christian Zionists, most of them millennials from around the globe. Uh, it's now been released in Spanish. We're no longer with Integrity Music. It was number three on iTunes just because wow. there's a sound, Terry. Yeah. And that's what I was getting out of the scriptures. Um, the Lord said, uh, and, and that starts in verse 14 in Joel 3, and there are, about, my mind is running so fast. I have <laughs> so much I would love to say to you. Um, there are multitudes in the Valley of Decision. Wow. And that speaks, of course, even of today, not just 3,000 years ago, where people's lives are hanging in the balance. And your last segment, a wonderful segment about the forgiveness and, and the power of the blood of Yeshua, the blood of Jesus. We were just worshiping two days ago in that garden. The tomb is empty. Wow. Um, and, uh, but we, we wanted to hear a sound because as I began to meditate on the Joel chapter three, he says, I'm gonna thunder from Jerusalem, I'll roar from Zion. What does that sound like? And, um, and I, I called our, our friend Gordon Robertson. I said, <laughs> is there something here? Can, can we, you know, help me? And um, so we've, we've got just amazing partnership. We've been here uh, at 700 Club since 1995, yearly. Um, but that sound, as I found it in 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 7, uh, that roar, yeah. that release of a sound from heaven of the Lion of Judah, it says there in 1 Samuel that when he released this sound that the Philistines troubled Israel no more. Wow. So I wanted to capture something so that people when they encounter Philistines in their lives, whether it's forgiveness, yeah. um, some kind of sin, or they're being attacked somewhere, that Illness. there is a sound <laughs> yeah. released from heaven of the light. Uh, yes. Oh gosh, there's just so much. I that, know. It's, that Hebrew word. It, it's different. I mean, your sound changed when you were looking for the roar. Mm -hmm. in, in what way? How mm -hmm. did you express it differently? Well, it, it's interesting that Hebrew word roar, sha'ag, um, 5780 in your Strong's Concordance, <laughs> has two meanings. Um, it's, it's a cry of despair and it is a roar of victory. So the Lord said to me, when you cry to me in despair or shout to me, sha'ag, he said, I will roar over you in victory. Mm -hmm. When we cry out, help, yeah. he roars and thunders from Jerusalem and chases the Philistines far away. I so we it. use <laughs> Middle Eastern instruments. We were raising up the next generation 
So we had Sarah Lieberman and Jamie Hilsden and Joshua Aaron, some of our young millennial up and comers that are releasing their sounds along with it. And it happens. It happens. I want to mention that you're going to be here on Sunday night for Rosh Hashanah. We so look forward to your coming every year and leading us in that evening of worship and celebration. But I'm going to ask you to release and go over to where you're singing while I tell people more about your project. All right, great. It's, a, <laughs> it's so great to have you right. here. Well, I, I want to tell you, we mentioned earlier, Paul will be leading us in worship for our Rosh Hashanah celebration. And you are welcome to join us Sunday night. I'm telling you, it's a moment in time when we all gather it's September 29th at the Shaw Chapel on the Regent University campus. It happens at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be live streaming the celebration on CBN.com if you can't be here in person. Also want to remind you of Paul's latest CD and DVD, Roar from Zion. It's available nationwide.